<clears throat> What's going on, guys? It's your boy Bolt Ratty here, and uh, <coughs> it may sound a little weird to you guys because um, I had a sore throat, and I, it's, I'm get, I'm overcoming it. But I know I haven't posted in over a week on my channel, and I promise you guys tutorials because I was gonna post tutorials all this weekend, but then Saturday morning came and could barely talk because I had a sore throat. But anyways, I may sound weird for the next few days, but that's because I'm overcoming a cold and a sore throat. But I'm still going to try to get you tutorials out there. So hopefully you can still hear me. And uh, one second. Just had to get my fan. And uh, let's get started. So what you seen at the beginning of the video is what we're going to be doing. Uh, really nice effect for uh, if you don't have any effects for a kill cam that you can do. Uh, this is a really nice effect to do. Uh, so I have a lot of these to do. I know I keep saying to do a lot, but anyways, I have a lot of these. Well, not a lot. I have about two or three. So uh, I may do both of them, but this is the first one I'm going to do. So what you want to do is go ahead and import a clip and cut to your kill cam real quick. So... We'll go until we shoot the, so as we shoot it, okay, we're good. okay so what you're going to do is play it, and then just cut it to where you want, so I make the shot about right there, so we'll split it by hitting S on the keyboard, so we'll go over here and the kill cam spot. About right, we'll do about right there. Here we go. So let's play it through. Here we go. Let's take the audio out by right clicking on the audio. And what you want to do now is, as you see right here, uh, we'll do this. Oops. We'll go ahead one more frame so it doesn't look too choppy. I look nice. So, uh, you want to go to the part where you want it to twixter at. So, we'll just go, um, let's see. This should be a good part. So, I'm going to hit M for a marker. And I'll just render it. Uh, I'll just render it to about here. So, we can just crop this down. And then you want to render it. <coughs> we'll just name it. And I render an MOV, I said before, because, uh, it gets rid of the contrast on it, on the clip. So let's we'll wait for that to render. <clears throat> All right, so uh, basically, if you guys have any tutorials that you want me to do, please post a comment below. I know that a lot of you guys want to see the um, the Xbox Live notification name change effect. So uh, I'll bring that to you sometime sometime in the middle of the week this upcoming week so uh so look out for that and um i'll be doing another tutorial just like this but it's a different kill cam effect um so yeah but i keep apologizing for this but i'm sorry because my i don't think you guys can clearly understand me so if you can't please turn your volume up i'm in the process of uh, getting money to do uh, buy a new microphone, but anyways, so you want to go into Adobe After Effects. <coughs> you just want to import your clip. What is this? My brother just like, gets random stuff in here. Oh. So you want to import it, and then I want to go over here and type in Twixter. And this is all. This is in basically my Twixter settings too. Drag that on. And then what you want to do is go over here, change this to 59.94, assuming it's PVR quality. You want to change the speed to 1. This makes it really smooth. Uh, as you can see, it makes it like really smooth. Uh, barely any noticeable effects. But anyways, uh, so then what you want to do is go ahead and make a new layer new adjustment layer you want to go up here and grab this pin tool 
but you just want to make a mask around the gun. Uh, if you're doing an episode, you want to make it really nice, but I'm just going to, for tutorial purposes and time purposes, I'm just going to make it a little bit sloppy, so just go around the gun however you want. Alright, and then you want to go back to your first marker, get that, and then you want to click your adjustment layer, hit M on your keyboard, you bring up this, you want to check, check the inverted box, then you want to go back to your adjustment layer, hit F on your keyboard, F is in Farnham, I guess. And then you want to change this. I changed mine to about 75 for the feather. And uh, to turn the mask off, you click this. As you can see, it did nothing. It barely did anything. But if you go over here and type in fast blur, you want to drag in fast blur. Hit the repeated edge pixel. And then you want to you want to do some keyframes. So what you want to do is click the blurness on this, and then drag it to where about you want it. Uh, we'll do about the middle. And then uh, change it to your desired amount, not too, not too much either. Uh, see, that's a little too much as you can notice it. So we'll do about uh, three enough. Yeah, three is pretty fine. As I said before, uh, as you, you get better with the mask, the better it's going to look. But this is tutorial purposes, and it's not going to look that great. So what you want to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, go to effect, video copilot, optical flares. Uh, I'll post a trial version to optical flares in the description below, if, assuming you don't have it. Uh, it takes a little bit for it to open up because I have a slow computer. Alright, what you want to do is go up here and click options. And then, we'll just wait for this for a second. Alright, then you're going to go to custom presets. I have a preset already made. Uh, I'll post this preset and I'll post this preset below. I believe I have a preset. I'm pretty sure I do. Actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and make our own. So, uh, if you want to, let's just get rid of all these. Get rid of all of them. start fresh so let's go over to uh, lens objects we'll have a streak um, we'll go back to lens objects and we'll add uh, it's in custom uh, no we'll go back this is gonna be a simple one we'll add this a lot of glow you could change the color you could change the color of it over here uh, it's not too shabby We'll just stick with this. We'll just stick with the original one. Alright, so what you're going to do is go over here, whoops, change this to over original. So actually, you want to, uh, let's make, let's change the color of it. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit too bright, but you know, for standard purposes, we'll just leave it. So what you want to do is keyframe. And so basically how you keyframe this is you want to click this down, effects, optical flares, position, you want to keyframe that, go to, let's go towards the end. Um, we'll just make it go to two. And what you want to do is grab this, hold shift as you grab it and just drag it across. And as you see right here, it'll just go across like that. And now to get it on the bottom one, what you do is you want to control C, control V, and it'll make a duplicate layer. So let's see if we can find it here. So what you're trying to do is oops, hold shift, drag this over. On your position, you want to uh, drag it down to about right there. And then you can go ahead, delete this keyframe. 
delete this keyframe, hit uh, keyframe position, go to uh, go to where your other one ends. So we want to just close this really quick. Open this up. It's about right there. Let's see if that's right. Yep, that's right. So leave that there. Open this one up, and then you want to go back up here, click optical flares, hold click, hold shift, and drag it across. Easy as that. As you play it through, you can see that they both they both reach the middle, middle pretty much at the same time, and then they'll go across. Really nice effect to do. Um, what you can also do is do the brightness and contrast so you can keyframe it and then as it drags across you can go to about like right here add that keyframe and then as it ends as it ends you can change this to zero so you can see that as it goes across it ends but I don't like to do that because I barely use this effect and just a really nice effect for you guys to use. So then what I do is I add the render queue, uh, just render that out. Uh, when I come back, I'll show you guys how to put the rest in. Alright guys, uh, I'm back and my clip got <coughs> done rendering, so you just want to import it in to Vegas. And then we'll just cut this down. So basically it's simple as that, you want to make sure you have disable resampled. It's basically that simple guys. That's basically all there is to uh, this tutorial. So please comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, please leave a like on what tutorial you want next. And thank you.